Hi everybody, it's Jackie schomburg in here. Um, today we finished up the last workshop in the five week Brave Art and Wellness series. And this time we did collage. One of the assignments that we, we worked through, one of the projects we worked through this session was a cool color collage or a warm color collage. So just to see what scraps you came up with and what images you pulled out of magazines and uh, work with one of those two color schemes. This is an example of my warm color collage. So this is reds and yellows and oranges. Um, uh, you'll see some other colors pop up just for accent and really to set off the reds and oranges. I just wanted to show you what I did and I'll talk you through it. So as I mentioned, I was going through magazine pages. These pages I'd already taken out of magazines and I filtered them basically looking for things that fell into the warm colors. So reds, oranges, yellows, and anything in between those. And the colors that I'm, or the pictures that I've, I've pulled, I was drawn to for one reason or another. So I was really trusting my intuition and really trying not to think so much but focusing more on what I felt. And what I felt was a lot of pink, as you can tell, um, lots of reds. I was trying to pick pieces that felt fun and light. And that's just what most of the pieces ended up being. Those stripes there that were folded shirts that I cut into just stripes I thought was interesting not a ton of pink but I thought it might be a good accent and the fun thing about collage is you can just take images that already exist and move them around and try new things there's very little commitment until you actually glue something down so uh, as speaking of which so you really have a lot of freedom with collage because you don't have to stick anything down. Anything you really like, you can keep and anything that you're unsure about, you can leave without gluing for a while and kind of try it on. I really like that pinwheel. Um, there are certain parts that you'll see that I kept trying to fit in that just weren't, uh, weren't meant to be. It was really fun to work with the colors that I found. I was obviously using Real Simple Magazine and I find their magazines to be spectacular for collage. The colors are usually very vivid. So if you like collage the way I do, great. Um, uh, furniture catalogs are great, like Restoration Hardware is great for neutrals and texture. What other magazines do I like a lot? Oh, crate and barrel catalogs, gold mine for black and white and neutrals. So you'll find if you start doing collage or you continue doing collage that you'll some some different materials and some different magazines will really resonate with you more than others. And you'll just keep going down those roads and kind of get your your favorites. Real simple is it for me. <laughs> I love it. I mean, look at these gorgeous colors. So I was working on the left side of the, the sketchbook page as well. I often do this because I often let my collages spill onto both pages. And this way I have this open flat lay. Sometimes it works better than others. And sometimes the pages flow better than others. My focus here is really on the right side. And you'll see that come through. The colors that I found, like this really rich golden honey color and the orange from the chair and the red from the flowers and the dresses and everything else that I found, the colors made me so happy because they're such vibrant colors.
So I absolutely loved the color collecting here. I had tons of patterns, as you can see to the left, and I found that I ended up using things that were much more solid and plain. And I don't know that I'd say quiet since they're all very bright colors and bright's not usually associated with quiet. Um, but there was the color took over and I didn't have to worry so much about pattern. So I didn't need a ton of different types of patterns because the color was so bright and so loud. And it's not a critique of patterns or colors. It just is what it is. For me, the color was bright enough that I didn't need to worry about patterns because it would have felt too much if I had worried about all of the things at the same time. The other, the flip side of that is when I work with neutrals, often I find myself drawn to textures and patterns because the colors are so subdued that I want it to feel kind of like this rich, um, I don't know, the neutral equivalent of that honeycomb. <laughs> so, so I want to add warmth and I want to add um, just some subtle textures so that the, the overall piece still feels neutral and chill, but there's a lot of, of depth in there with the different patterns and textures. And by pattern, I don't mean that it has to be a honeycomb pattern or like the whatever those the shape is in the upper right hand corner. Um, pattern can also just be uh, a close up of a rug. Or I don't know, you can make, you know, if you have a paper puncher, you can make a whole bunch of holes in something and then put that in and that creates pattern. I really love this pop of blue. So as you can see, there this is really a gut project of going through, seeing what felt good and gluing it down as I worked. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you work in cool colors or warm colors often? Do you find yourself drawn one way or the other? I did make a cool collage the following day and it felt so different than my warm color collage. Uh, the warm colors really are just, they just feel good to me. So this one was a little bit easier than that one was. So this is a little bit of what I've been working on. Uh, how about you? I would love to hear about your projects and what you're working on in the comments. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do. Love to show you more art. Bye-bye.